We first introduced you to Jordan Romero in April. The 13-year-old, who had already climbed the tallest mountains on five different continents, was preparing to scale Mount Everest, the tallest and most difficult of all. Two weeks ago, Jordan made history as the youngest person to make it to the top of Everest. And he's here with his father, Paul, who climbed with him, and his mom, Leanne, who waited patiently, proudly, and nervously at home. And good morning to you all. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Does it seem real? All of, we were looking at the pictures of, of you on the, on the summit. Does that seem real to you now? I don't know. It, it, it seems, well, we really were just, you know, two weeks ago standing on top. So, you know, it feels just unreal that just in that short amount of time that we were up there. Uh, you did the China route. That's the most difficult of, of the climbs available to the summit. In that process, and there were, there were times that you told me when we were on the phone that it was difficult, what was the most important thing you learned about yourself when you were on the climb? Just uh, learned about patience, which is, uh, key, uh, which is a key factor to life, I think. Uh, up there, patience is key unless, you know, you're going to make a mistake and, you know, how vital it is just not not to make a single mistake up there. Yeah, because just days after you were there, a, a climber on the same route uh, died. You know, in the blogosphere, there is a lot of criticism about your climb with your son. How do you, how do you respond to people who say, you know, this is not the responsible thing to do for a father to be taking his 13-year-old to the top of Everest? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm forced to respond in situations like this, but uh, unfortunately I, 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 I don't stay awake at night worrying about these emails and worrying about these folks that are in faraway lands that don't know the first thing about my family, mm -hmm. don't know the first thing about Jordan, who's extremely expert and proficient climber, I don't know the first thing about me, he's been guiding expeditions all over the world. And so to, to place so much value and so much importance on this number 13, it, it, we just throw it out the window. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't. It doesn't hold water, Harry. There's, yeah. there's. Jordan has has spent four years or more than that preparing for this climb. He's climbed all over the world. He has set world records climbing on giant mountains in five different countries, and not to mention the serious preparation and an, an intense preparation that we underwent to 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 climb Mount Everest. People, and, should, and, and know it it, great. people should know it was not a frivolous or whimsical uh, adventure on your part. Uh, you surprised this young man a couple of nights ago when yeah. he was at New he comes back from this great trip at dinner in New York and you when you first saw him what what was your feeling? I'm just glad to have him back in my arms. Truly I mean two months is the longest he's ever been away from home. So to see your boy and have him back safe in your arms. That was the goal when he went. You know, you go, but it's not worth getting to the top unless you can get home. I think that's, so. that sums up a lot of feelings for a lot of different people, right? Thank you for being here. Congratulations. Thank you. Keep in touch. Thanks, Let us know how it goes in Antarctica. We will. All right, very good. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.